Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You are listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. First up, Janet, you are from Lucy in the parish of Hanover, but you are living in New York. You are celebrating your birthday today. Your bestie of over 30 years, Marcia. She's asking us to wish you a happy birthday today. Mrs. Janet Dixon, let's hope that today you are going to be having a wonderful birthday and may you live to see a holy more also my virgin from a long time billy from lennox be goods in darlistan you are celebrating your birthday today let's hope that you billy today you are gonna be having a wonderful birthday and may you live to see a holy more we are starting at petersfield in the parish of Westmoreland, and we are heading towards Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. First up, the Alexandra police in the parish of St. Anne. They have arrested and charged a 30-year-old security guard for child abuse. Her name is Shemara Eubanks, and she's living at Hamatan District in the Alexandria area of St. Anne. We are told that last week, Thursday morning, about some minutes after 9 o'clock, Shimara, she was at home with her 9-year-old son when it is said that the child, he misbehaved. We are told that Shimara, she started raining some serious blows on the child. As a result, the police were informed. The police, they went to the house and the child was heard crying inside. The police called out to Shamara but she refused from opening the door. The police, they had to enter the house forcefully. When they entered, the nine-year-old boy, he was seen with severe bruises and swelling all over his body. He was taken to the hospital by the police where he was treated and admitted. Following police investigation, Shimara, she was arrested and charged, so she'll be going to the courts shortly. Still in the parish of St. Anne, Jafari Evans, she's a 20-year-old sales rep and she's living at Greyfield District in the Monique area of St. Anne. Jafari, she was charged for grievous sexual assault and indecent assault. No. Listen to the allegations. It is said that some time ago, a boy who was about six years old at the time, he was left in the care of Jafari, who is his aunt. It is alleged that Jafari, she instructed her nephew to lick her private parts. You got that? It is alleged that Jafari, she instructed her nephew to lick her private parts, which he did. A report was made to the police and following police investigations. Jafari, she was arrested and charged. So, she will be going to the courts shortly. This next incident, it took place last night. Friday, April 26, about 9.30. It took place in the vicinity of the Allergy Sports Bar along the Waterworks Main Road in the parish of Westmoreland. That man on your screen... His name is Donathan Delan, but he was popularly known as Digo R. Deran. He would be celebrating his 47th birthday this Monday, April 29. Deran, he was a businessman and he lived at Shrewsbury Housing Scheme in the parish of Westmoreland. The flyer that you are looking at on your screen is for an event that Digo was supposed to be hosting tonight at the Allergy Sports Bar. We are learning that Digo, he was riding a blue Yamaha motorcycle from Withern towards 
ferris direction when on reaching in the vicinity of the Alajabar. The same place where he was supposed to be keeping the party tonight. A black cattle walked from the bushes on the left side of the road onto the roadway into the path of the bike that Deran was riding. As a result, there was a collision and Deran, he was thrown from the bike. He fell off the bike on the asphalted main road. We are told that Deran, he received injuries all over his body. His neck was also broken. He was rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital by citizens where he died about 10 o'clock. Sad indeed. Also, I carried a story on Thursday which I promised to update. It took place Wednesday night, April 24, about 10.30. It took place at the entrance of the Orange Bay housing scheme along the Orange Bay main road in the parish of Hanover. We are learning that a taxi driver named Dean Brady, he was driving a purple Toyota Foxy which he used to operate as a taxi. He was heading towards Negril direction. A blue Kenworth truck was broken down and was positioned across the roadway. If you look on your screen, the Voxy that Dean was driving, it collided into the back right section of the truck. The front section of the Toyota Voxy went under the truck whilst the windscreen and the roof collided into the body of the truck. If you look on your screen now, there is a closer look of the collision. Dean, he was seriously injured and he ended up dying on the spot sad indeed in this next incident a man is lucky to be alive after hoodlums fired at the vehicle that he was driving at Grange Hill in the parish of westmoreland last night i'm gonna play some voice notes from this man and i'm also gonna show you some photos look and listen it was here since night. I drive out of my yard, I go up the road there. I book up in a hoodlum, the man named Beats on shot out of me. I turn in my yard, I buy people in my yard. This year. When I drive out, you know, I mean, I go up and listen to the voice note, them I come down. I hear the explosion, them up the road, you know. So I realize uh, a gunman has fire shot. So I slow down and I see two bikes come down the road. I realize he a gunman them for true. He have a two long gun them and a fire shot. Then he body them sip on the road. So I turn go over one yard there. And then fire two shots. Couple shots out of me over a yard And then go down the road and a fire shot go down the road. I go long out of people with them see. They don't get for true nobody still. Like a little incident that happened yesterday up high school up on the road. I'm if you understand, say you go to a dead in a gang, you know. So, well, yeah, I don't want sing one song with them, say somebody if he did, but for me feel better. That was a song I never like it. I wrote a R.I.P. song that got them, this one kills somebody, so. Innocent people, you know, they don't even know if they mother and I both with me. Ah, uh, you know, they just not care you. No nice shot there, you know, catch your bus to no, about to right which part of my turn. You see, window, I right there, so I turn the bus, you know. You would have mercy of God. But you man, them are right, I ride them, I ride past, you know. So I know about ride, go for past them, but I would turn off, I would go over a yard. So they just turn the gun over when I turn off, I two shot and gone. So you no know, like on me, I didn't target or nothing like that. Boy, you know, pretty at all. <laughs> the mayhem. Now, this next incident, it took place early this morning. Saturday, April 27, about a quarter to three o'clock. It took place at Creek Street in Montego Bay, in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a guy, he's in his early 20s. He was fast asleep in his one bedroom, board and zinc house when fire was set to it by hoodlums. 
the guy woke up and he realized that the house was on fire. He got up and opened the front door to try and escape the fire, but the hoodlums, they were outside awaiting him. The hoodlums, they opened gunfire at him, hitting him to both of his thighs. The guy, he ran back inside the house. By this time, the entire house was engulfed in flames. We are told that the guy, he managed to open and ran through the back door of the house and ran straight to the Barnett Street Police Station where he made a report. The police, they transported this guy to a nearby hospital where he was treated and admitted. A unit from the Barnett Street Fire Station extinguished the blaze. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, 8.40 and 7 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem. Now, in this next story, that lady on your screen, her name is Mrs. Elaine Crooks. In August 2021, Mrs. Crooks, she would have celebrated her 59th birthday. Mrs. Crooks, she was a physical education teacher at the Green Island High School and she lived at Lances Bay, both in the parish of Hanover. We are learning that Mrs. Crooks, she was having some issues with one of her knees. As a result, a surgery was to be done on that knee on Sunday, May 16, 2021. That surgery was to be done at the Montego Bay Hospital. Mrs. Crooks, she checked into the private hospital from the previous day. Saturday, May 15. On Sunday, May 16, 2021, before the surgery was to be done, Dr. Adriana Hamilton, a consultant anesthetist, she administered anesthetic to Mrs. Crooks. We are told that immediately after Mrs. Crooks got the injection, she had an adverse reaction and complained of severe pains. She later had a seizure and became unresponsive. Mrs. Crooks, she was subsequently transferred to the University Hospital of the West Indies in Kingston where she was admitted in the intensive care unit. Mrs. Crooks. She died Tuesday morning, May 18, 2021, minutes after 7 o'clock, less than two days after she got the bad injection. A report was made to the police and an investigation launched. A postmortem examination was conducted on June 1, 2021, and it was concluded that Mrs. Crook's death was due to complications of intrathecal injection of an examic acid there it is on your screen you can google it we are told that a case file was prepared and sent to the dpp and the coroner's court and after three years it was recommended that dr adriana hamilton should be charged by the police she was officially charged yesterday for manslaughter by gross negligence but can you imagine look at this now look at this if a taxi driver is driving along the road and he meet in an accident and somebody die as long as the police get evidence that he was at fault he will be charged right away it was concluded and proven right away that this doctor administered a wrong injection that resulted in the death of Mrs. Crooks and it took three long years for her to be charged. Another question is, was it the former DPP who ruled that she must be charged or is it the current acting DPP? <laughs> but I may tell you, you know, condolences to the family and friends of Mrs. Crooks. May her sweet soul continue to sleep in peace. In this next incident, a man, his name is Norman Andre White. Norman was 61 years old and he retired after living and working for 
many years in Canada. He lived at Coxseat District in the parish of St. Anne and Maxfield Heights in the Granville District area of Trelawney. Our information is that Norman, he was last seen alive in the town of Falmouth on Monday afternoon, April 22. Since Tuesday of this week, a close friend has been trying to contact Norman but without success. Yesterday morning, Friday, April 26, about 11 o'clock, the friend went to Maxfield Heights to check on Norman. The badly decomposed body of Norman was seen in a kneeling position in his bedroom. His hands were tied behind his back and his neck was almost taken off. The police, they were called in and they processed the crime scene. It is suspected that Norman, he was killed from Monday. The questions are by who and why? The mayhem. The ma so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final story for today, that guy on your screen. His name is Jerome Goodwin, but he was popularly known as Mampi or Bronx Rangturn. He was a 34-year-old warehouse attendant and he lived at Go Peace Lane in the Salt Spring area of St. James. So by now, if you have been following the news, you should know that once good friends, Shabdan and Squash, they are now big enemies. This falling out has seen a lot of persons aligned to either of them being killed or injured. I carried a story on Thursday about a shooting that took place in the Repasta area of Salt Spring. A guy named Jordan or Jardine, he was shot and injured Wednesday night. In that incident, hoodlums fired over 70 bullets to include over 45 M16 bullets at Jodian. It is said that Jodian is aligned to Squash. This incident that I'm going to be telling you about is seen as an act of reprisal and Bronx wrong turn. He was said to be aligned to Shabdan. Are you following me? We are told that Bronx, he was gainfully employed and his rivals, they knew the route that he normally take to and from work. Late yesterday afternoon, Friday, April 26, about a few minutes to 6 o'clock, Bronx, he was riding a bike on his way from work. On reaching in the vicinity of the Texaco gas station at Iron Shore in St. James, a white Toyota Axio motor car drove up. Hoodlums in the car, they were armed with M16 rifles and 9mm pistols. They opened gunfire at Bronx. He fell off the bike and the hoodlums, they made good their escape in the said Toyota Axio motor car. Bronx, he was hit several times to his upper body and he ended up dying on the spot. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, seven M16 and seven 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Joe. Jamaica, oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. Crime it 
Criminals, them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh, Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica I could have sun shine a rain Jamaica, no problem, no pain Good boy, them no go to your team But me want me country back Give me me country back To the street and the lane Everybody, them start to pain Bloodshed, what a shame, what a shame But me want me country back Give me me country back Cry with a mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Cry me to mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun Jamaica become now the land of the gun East and not